everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is another compare and contrast between a modern G.I. Joe action figure and its vintage equivalent. We are looking at Zartan version 14 from 2008, and we will compare and contrast that figure with the first version of Zartan from 1984. The 1984 Zartan was the master of disguise, and he was the driver of the Chameleon Swamp Skier. The figure had a color change gimmick, when exposed to sunlight, the skin would turn a blue color. The modern figure does not have that color change feature, but it does have updated articulation and sculpting. Taking a brief look at the vintage Zartan action figure, I have it on some sticky tack to stand him up. I don't put him on a figure stand because for some reason uh, the plastic on mine is kind of fragile and it tends to crack. Uh, this figure came with a weapon, uh, a small pistol. Uh, and he also had removable plates on his chest and on his legs. And these originally came with heat sensitive sheets that you could put uh, under the clear plastic and they would change color when exposed to heat. Uh, but it, again, the figure did have that color change feature on the skin uh, that is not on the modern figure. Uh, some nice coloring with the black and the dark kind of burgundy uh, red color on the vintage figure. It's always been one of my favorite figures. And let's not forget the accessory that actually made him the master of disguise. His backpack, which included a mask uh, that could be placed on the figure, you just basically kind of squeeze it under his cowl and over his face. And now he has changed his appearance. Uh, he now has a brown beard and a totally different looking face. But of course, he's still wearing the Zartan costume, so most likely he will still be recognized. As stated before, Zartan version one was a vehicle driver. He came with the Chameleon Swamp Skier, a small vehicle. And the Chameleon also had a color change feature. This this light green section of the vehicle would turn a dark green when exposed to sunlight. The vehicle also had a break apart feature. You could break it into pieces and you could put it in this bin for Zartan to haul around and you could pretend that uh, his swamp skier was just a pile of junk. Okay, so maybe the disguise feature of version 1 wasn't the best, but let's see what version 14 has to offer. Obviously on this figure they are trying to replicate the style of version 1. It has the same colors and the same basic design elements. Uh, it has uh, the same laser pistol as version one. It has a removable knife on his ankle, so that's nice. Uh, it has a figure stand with, that even has his name on it. That's typical of modern figures, so nicely done. Um, he has a, a separate piece for his chest plate, similar to the way version one did. Uh, he has a backpack, which on mine does not like to stay on. Uh, but like version one, this backpack does have masks. It has two masks in it, if I can open it up and reveal them. It has one mask that looks like Storm Shadow. And it has a second mask that looks like Duke. So this Zartan can have more than one disguise, and it works basically the same way as the vintage version. You basically stick it under his under his cowl. So now it looks like Duke is wearing Zartan's costume for some reason, uh, but it, it actually looks a little bit better with the other mask, the Storm Shadow mask, um, and that's that's not too bad. Uh, kind of a, a mask on, under a hood. Pretty cool, uh, not too bad. Yeah, I just wanted to see if the modern figure masks worked with the vintage figure, and they sort of do, they, not perfectly, but you could put the modern masks on the vintage figure and he could have more disguises. Unfortunately, the hood on the modern figure makes it not very easy to put the vintage mask on the modern figure, so that really doesn't work very well. As a modern figure, it is taller than the vintage figure. Uh, the modern figures average four inches rather than the three and three quarter inches of the vintage figures. Modern Zartan comes with one other accessory, but I haven't shown you yet. I wanted it to be a surprise. This is the best accessory he comes with. He has the Chameleon Swamp Skier, but uh, as you can see, there seems to have been some shrinkage. 
it seems that the water in the swamp must be a bit cold. This has to be the dinkiest G.I. Joe vehicle ever made, if you can even call it a vehicle. Honestly, if you can't do better than this, then just don't make the vehicle. I think most collectors would have been fine just getting Zartan without this. I mean, this is just an embarrassment. Yes, he can ride it, and here's what that looks like. Uh, this is bad, guys. This is just really bad. Looking at the card back for the modern Zartan figure, the card art is very similar to the box art for the Chameleon Swamp Skier, uh, and he does have a file card. The file card is not a copy of the file card from the vintage figure. It's more of a combination of the version 1 and version 2 Zartan file cards. So which is better, the vintage or the modern figure? Well, the modern figure has modern articulation, has modern sculpt, and that appeals to collectors of modern figures. The vintage figure, however, was the original. It has that going for it. Also, the vintage figure has a color change gimmick. It has a mask. It has a removable chest and leg plates, and it comes with a real vehicle, albeit a small one. The modern figure certainly looks very nice, but mostly what looks nice about it was taken from the vintage figure. So sorry, modern collectors, my money is on the vintage. That was just a quick look at at the vintage Zartan action figure and its modern equivalent. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of great new G.I. Joe toy reviews coming up and don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss any videos. I would like to thank the generosity of my patrons who make these videos possible. If you'd like to support the channel in that way, check out my Patreon. I'm also on social media on Facebook and Twitter and I have a website, hcc788 com. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon with a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review. And remember, until then, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.